guys, welcome back to my cooking series. And I am rolling with the punches today with turkey season. So I wanted to focus on turkey meals. And today we're gonna be making turkey parm. So a little twist on chicken parm. And this is just a classic. It's one that's very easy to make and you can pair it with a lot of things. If you wanna use noodles, you can eat it as is. Whatever you decide that you like, totally cool. So this is one that's one of those like hearty meals. It's just really good after a long day. So this one's gonna be fun. All right guys, so for the ingredients that you're gonna need, obviously turkey. I have some turkey tenderloin here and this is actually store-bought turkey because I ran out because I ate it all. And so obviously I'm gonna have to shoot some this year to refill the freezer. But um, you can use either regular turkey breast or tenderloin. You just have to make sure your portion size is you know, kind of the size that you're looking for. Either one will work fine. Um, and then we're gonna have obviously salt and pepper, some Italian seasoning, parsley, mozzarella. For some of your veggies, we're gonna just have onion and garlic tomato sauce, um, and then you don't need diced tomatoes. I really like diced tomatoes in it, but you don't need to do that if you don't like tomatoes as much. And then some tomato paste for your sauce. And then you're gonna need a couple of eggs with some breadcrumbs. And I also added a little bit of garlic powder to it. Um, I like a lot of the garlic flavor. If you don't like a ton of garlic, then you can obviously leave that out. Um, but uh, I think these are panko breadcrumbs, really kind of personal preference as to what you wanna use. And then a little bit of olive oil, a thermometer, so you can check to make sure that it is properly cooked through. And then lastly, you just need a plastic Ziploc bag of some sort and something to kind of beat it with, which a rolling pin is pretty typical, but you could use like a can or whatever you have available also works. Um, you just wanna make sure that you're able to get the meat at the same thickness so that way it cooks consistently. So that is our ingredients and let's get to it. First thing we're gonna do is flatten the turkey so that they're all the same thickness. I'm just gonna throw them in a bag. Maybe. And now you're just gonna hit the turkey till it's flat. I've got these, I would say roughly a quarter inch thick. Really doesn't matter, it just will change your cooking time as to how thick you make it, but the thinner the better I think. Um, so what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of oil and get my pan hot, and then while that's getting hot, we're gonna coat them. Just do like a medium heat. Just enough to kind of coat your pan. Okay. So now we need to crack some eggs so that your breading will stick to the turkey, which um, I'm not using it, but you can also add flour or just do flour um, mixed in with the breadcrumbs to kind of help it stick a little bit better. Kind of personal preference. I guess I should get a fork so I can whisk that. Just, just whisk them up a little bit so you're not dealing with too many clumps. And then it's pretty straightforward. You're just kind of soaking it in the egg to coat it and then put it in the bread. Take out the eggshells that you get maybe. Obviously like you guys can put gloves on if you're making it for other people but I'm not gonna do that because I'm the one eating it. Okay. 
So you can kind of do this a bunch of different ways. Take a spoon, you can flip them. Definitely helps if you have a bigger plate. I think I need a bigger plate. Just deal with it for now. It's gonna be a little messy, unless you're not messy. I'm a messy cook, so. I think some of the best cooks are messy. You just wanna get it nice and coated. And honestly, like if you think it's not sticking, you can just dip it back into the egg and get another layer on, but I don't think this looks too bad. So, something like that. And then when your pan is hot, which it's just now starting to smoke a little bit, we're gonna sit them in there. And then you're gonna let them kind of um, fry a little bit for a few minutes. You don't have to fully cook them because we're gonna throw it in the oven then, but just enough to kind of crisp it and cook it a little bit. These are actually pretty big. I might not even make the third one to be honest. Okay, so I decided I'm only gonna do two because they fill up the whole cast iron. Um, but after a few minutes, when it starts to kind of look golden brown on the bottom, just give it a flip. Do the same thing on the other side for a few minutes till it looks about like that. You can add more, more oil if you need to. Um, so yeah. Also, when uh, you're in the process of flipping it, that's a good time to turn your oven on to 425 so that it can be preheated by the time you're ready to add the turkey to the oven. Um, so right now you're pretty much just crisping it and then it will go into the oven to bake further. Once it is about like this on both sides, I'm gonna take it off, put it on a separate clean plate. Just for now. Then what we're gonna do is add a little bit more oil back in. You can scrape that extra off if you want to, you don't have to. But then we're gonna saute some onions, throw our fresh garlic in. And then we will make our sauce, add all of our spices, and then add the turkey back in. While that's going, I'm gonna maybe open up maybe. tomato paste. And then, like I said, I really like to add diced on or diced tomatoes. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but I'm going to because I like it. I also like a lot of sauce, so if you don't like as much sauce, you don't have to totally add the whole amount. So I've got it on about a medium-low heat, because garlic will burn really fast. Um, so you want to put that in kind of at the last second. And let the paste cook down. I'll add in some of my diced tomatoes. And then you give it a good, give it a good mix. And then once it's mixed, then I like to turn it up a little bit more, like medium heat. 
And then what you're gonna do, once that's kind of cooking for a little bit, you're gonna add a little bit of just kind of whatever uh, tomato sauce you like, or I tend to use spaghetti sauce. Um, you're gonna add like just enough to cover the bottom of the pan, because then we're gonna add the turkey back in, and then you're gonna also coat the top with sauce. So sauce is kind of a guessing game for me at least. I don't always measure everything. Kind of a good stir. So about like that. Mix it up nice and good. And then you can add in your seasoning. Do Italian, which I guess I could probably do more than that, but that's kind of a personal taste preference. Salt, pepper. And you can save a little bit for on top too. it in the sauce get it nice and coated and if you think you have too much then you can just kind of scoop it on or you can obviously add to it like I said I don't really measure too much but I might add some more Now we can cut the heat. And then we're gonna add, now, so now you can either add like the rest of your spices if you do that. It's kind of like personal preference, how much you wanna season it. And then the best part, cheese. Which I will for sure use a lot more than this cause I like cheese too. I'm gonna get more. And mozzarella is definitely the best, I think. It's just a classic, but you can also do, you know, if you prefer a different kind, it's really not a big deal. I'm an impatient pasta cooker, so I just put it in before it starts boiling. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. I need to make enough that it looks decent. Are you rolling? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm trying not to step on the ones on the ground. Did you get me saying I'm an impatient pasta cooker? Okay. I don't wait for it to boil. I just throw it in, add some salt, and stir it every like minute or so. Um, so I'm gonna serve this with pasta. You can literally do whatever, just angel hair. So our oven is preheated. I'm gonna add it in for about 25-ish minutes. We'll check it probably after like 20 minutes just to see. The internal cooking temperature I think has to be 165. Um, so however long that takes, it should be about 20 some minutes. So we'll go from there and then get to eat it. So we're gonna throw it in the oven. I'm gonna just do the bottom rack here. One nice thing about cast iron is you can also throw it in the oven and not have to worry about it. Looks good, so we'll see you in about mm, 20 some minutes. Let's do 20 to start. All right, so it's looking like it's done. I'm gonna check the temperature. Right on the dot. Cool. Hold on, I'm not left-handed. I need to switch here. Okay. 
Okay, cheese is looking good. So now we're gonna, I might actually have to cut this honestly. All right, you guys, so I am gonna plate it with some noodles. It's looking pretty good. And this is why it's good to have a little bit extra sauce. That way, if you want some for your noodles as well, which I like sauce, so I'm gonna do that. I think it looks super good. The moment we've all been waiting for. Time to try it. And if you guys ever make this at home, let me know and let me know what you think. Looks really good. Probably gonna make a mess, because I usually do. Oh yeah, that's really good. It's very similar to chicken, but I think I might like the turkey better, honestly. Awesome, so good. Like I said, if you guys make this, be sure to let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.